Okay, welcome back, Physical Science 20. Hopefully you had, a, had an opportunity to finish these questions. So calculate the mass of each of the following that are given to moles. So here we're going from moles to mass, moles to grams, so you need to multiply by the molar mass. So that's what was done in each of these. So helium, 4.0 grams, titanium, 47.9 grams, and of course, I represent the final answer to the correct number of sig figs. Three sig figs, three sig figs, three sig figs, three sig figs. This next one here is vice versa, going from grams to moles. So going from grams to moles, you need to divide by the certain number of grams. And when doing that, cobalt 58.9, krypton 83.9. Okay, the last part of this booklet looks at kind of two-step conversions. So here I, from page 318 of the textbook, questions 13 and 14. Um, so this, the first one involves 13 A, B, C, D, E, and then 14 A, B, C, D, E. I kind of did all of them here. I'll leave it up to you as to how much you need to copy out. <coughs> so this first one going from grams to atoms. I think all of these are going from grams to atoms. So if we look back at this chart, to go from grams to atoms, there's two steps. So multiply by one mole over the molar mass. Then from there, do what we did back in 11.1. .1. Multiply by the particle mole conversion. And if you write the units down, it should work out fine. So here is lithium. So first of all, going from grams to moles, that first movement, one mole over 6.9 g's is what's on the periodic table. Grams cancel. And if we were to stop right there, we'd be in that center mole bubble. But we want to go one more step, convert it into atoms. So one mole on the bottom, 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd atoms of lithium. And then we get 4.82 times 10 to the 24. So two steps, and you can see cancels, cancels, and then we're left with the unit we should have. Doing the same thing with lead. Periodic table, 207.2 grams is one mole. And then lastly, that last part of the bubble there, 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd. Okay, there's C, D, and E. Maybe pause the video right now, write these down, and see if you can run through that calculation then check your answer. So maybe pause the video now and uh, try those three questions. Okay, if you had an opportunity to do those questions, here are the answers. So mercury, 200.6. Then you can see it's the same conversion at the end for all of these. Silicon, 28.1 grams. Titanium, 47.9 grams. And then all of them, you're multiplying by 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd. All of these have three significant digits, so your answer needs to have three significant digits as well. Okay? Number 14 is vice versa, going from atoms to grams. So we're starting here in the particle bubble. So we're going to multiply by 1 over 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd. Then multiply by the molar mass. So if you look at how the first two were done there. So first of all, uh, multiply by 1 mole over 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd. And then multiplied by the molar mass, it's bismuth, 209.0 grams. And then atoms cancel, moles cancel, left with grams. So if the units cancel right, chances are you have it set up correctly. If you look here at manganese, so first of all divide by, or sorry, multiply by one mole over 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd then by the molar mass of manganese, okay? C, D, E, again, maybe copy those out and maybe pause the video and try them just to make sure you can do them and work with your calculator. Make sure to use your EXP or your double E button when doing uh, the number 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd or else you may run into issues. Okay, so maybe pause the video and uh, try these questions. Okay, if you had a chance to do those, here are the answers that I got. So we can see the first part is identical. Just the molar mass section is different because it depends, of course, on the molar mass of each element. So 0.226 grams, 3.49 times 10 to the minus 8, 
5.93 times 10 to the minus 7. Okay. Uh, if we look at the last part here, we're almost done the booklet. So again, more practice questions. Calculate the number of atoms of each. <coughs> so we're starting with grams, going to atoms. It's a good idea just to set up this little schematic here, illustrating your plan of attack, what you're going to do. To go to grams, to atoms, you have to go through that mole bubble. So to go from grams to atoms, moles, then atoms. Okay, so maybe uh, pause the video here, try A and B, see if you can work through that, then come back and see how you made out. Okay, if you had an opportunity to do that, so grams to atoms, you have to multiply by one mole over 200.6 grams, and then multiply by 6.2 times 10 to the 23rd atoms over one mole, and we get that. I kind of rounded a room here, so I just wrote the answer for zinc, but it'd be the same process here. Multiply by one mole over the molar mass, and then multiply by 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd over one mole, and we get 3.13 times 10 to the 20 atoms. Lastly, with this one, uh, going from, it's vice versa this time, from atoms to grams. So, of course, we're starting in the atom section and going into grams. So multiply by 1 over 6.02 times 10 to the 23, then multiplying by the molar mass. So as you can see here, we get 1.67 times 10 to the minus 6 grams of uranium. And here I ran a room, so I just wrote down the final answer. You, hopefully you went through it and were able to get it. 144 grams. Lastly, just one definition here, molar mass um, so the mass in grams of one mole of a particular element, for example carbon, 12.0 grams in every one mole. So it's usually stated as grams per mole. Okay, there you have it. There is booklet 11.2 completed. Okay, see you again.